Sure, I'll go ahead. Welcome to Las Vegas, Kate. Uh, how nice has it been so far in camp to have Megan there as a support system, someone who's been in the league and someone you can sort of use as a, a mentor almost as you go through this process? Yeah, it's definitely been nice to have a familiar face. Um, obviously, Megan and I were teammates for a year when she was a senior and I was a freshman at Iowa. And uh, Megan's been through pretty much everything uh, during her six years in the league, you know, been through cuts, been through making teams, uh, heartbreak, a lot of, you know, good times as well. So it's been really nice to, you know, be able to talk to her and uh, bounce ideas off of her. Uh, you know, if I'm ever struggling, be able to talk to her about it because Lord knows she's been through it. So um, it's been really nice to have her there. Sean? <clears throat> Hi, Kate. Sean Schultz, WNBA Swish. Uh, welcome to Vegas also. And what's it been like with your new teammates? What kind of advice have they offered? Just how important has it been to have that many uh, iconic veterans there, both players and coach? Yeah, uh, honestly, it's hard not to get starstruck every day when I walk into, you know, their uh, facility. But um, it's been really great. Obviously, they've been in the league for a long time and they have a lot of experience. And so, um, anytime, you know, I have a question, they're ready to answer and it's been very nice and they they do that for all of the rookies too. And so um, it's just been really cool to be able to watch them work, uh, their warm up routines, everything they do, how they work like a pro, you know, that these women are amazing uh, and they're very good at their jobs. And so just being able to see what they do and try to emulate that and uh, how hard they go every single rep, um, you know, I'm trying to emulate that as well. And I think I do, but, you know, I can always be better and I want to be like them, you know, one day as well. So it's been really cool to be a part of such a, a great team, a great culture so far. All right, let's go to Christos coming to us all the way from Greece. Ooh. Hey, Kate, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. I would like to ask you as the rookie of this team, in the, you're, you're in a championship caliber team, back-to-back -back champs. What what did you learn so far? What is the most impressive part of this process for you? Yeah, I think the most impressive part has been um, just like how they take care of their bodies, their mindsets, uh, and how strong and physical they are and how, uh, you know, in shape they are and everything. You know, they can run for days and days uh, and they're so strong. They know exactly what they're doing. They're so smart with the game. Their IQ is through the roof. So that's been really cool to see and be a part of. And I'm trying to soak everything that I can soak up everything I can from them because, uh, you know, I want to be like that too. And so um, that's been probably one of the most impressive and coolest things to be a part of so far. Jordan. Hey, Kate. So Hi. I just want to talk about, you know, draft night, just knowing what it was like to hear your name called, because you were there to support Caitlin, but to hear your name called, I know that was a dream come true. So just tell me what that moment felt like. Yeah, it was definitely a dream come true. Uh, it was it was crazy. You know, I just didn't really know when I was going to hear my name. You know, I was very hopeful that I was going to hear my name that night, but they moved me closer to the aisle so I could get up to stage quicker because I was in the middle of the row. And um, pick 16 when they picked the Asia fair, uh, the camera was close to me. So I was like, Oh gosh, am I getting close? You know, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Pick 18. The camera was back in my face. The aces had the pick again. And I heard my name called and I honestly, it was just so many emotions, uh, a lot of happiness, very feeling very, I was feeling very grateful. And, um, it was really cool to be able to celebrate that with my teammates who were there, um, and my coaches who were there and, be able to walk across the stage and like you said it was it was a dream come true Nikias? oh hi kate hope you're doing well first and foremost um when free agents and other draftees kind of roll through vegas the first thing that they kind of talk about is how much terminology is thrown out there mm -hmm. too um what has the learning curve been like for you on that front <clears throat> excuse me um yeah the terminology is definitely different uh like I said before, the IQ is through the roof. So they definitely have a lot of different terms and it makes sense. It's it's basketball at the end of the day, though. So, um, you know, I've been trying to pick it up as much as possible and talking with the vets when I can about the terminology or what I need to do on this play X, Y, Z. Um, and they're very receptive of that and they're very willing to help. So that is very nice to 
have that, you know, a really good vet led group. Um, but yeah, I think I'm picking up on it. Well, I don't know. You could ask coach Hammond and uh, she could say, I'm not picking up on it very well. So uh, I'm just taking it day by day and trying to soak up as much knowledge as I can. Got you. Hey. Very quickly. Oh, sorry, hey guys, go ahead. Oh, my bad. I was going to say very quickly, how have you kind of balanced just trying to carve out a role and do something consistently versus showcasing maybe more of your game than you got to show in college? Uh, well, you know, I'm I'm just here being myself. I don't need to be anybody else. I don't need to be the star player. You see the talent that the Aces have, um, that my role would just be a role player, you know, if I, you know, fortunately would make the team, make the final roster and uh, I've been in that position before. I know how to be a role player. I know how to support stars. Uh, I've done that for quite a few years. So, um, you know, I, my intention is to come in and give 100% effort every single day, never take a rep off, and just work really hard and be a good teammate. And that's what I'm doing every single day. Thank you. We've got time for two more. Jackie Young is waiting outside. Let's go again. Hi. So, hi, Kate. How are you? I'm good. So how are you? What's been most challenging for you from the adjustment to college to the WNBA so far? Um, I would say the biggest adjustment is definitely the speed and physicality. Um, and also the terminology, like we talked about, it's a lot different. This is a different level. There are levels to basketball and, you know, every single level you get to, you know, it's going to be um, more difficult. It's going to be faster pace. It's going to be more physical. And uh, I'm just trying to hang, you know, and take it day by day and, and give it all my all every single day. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Glad, Brad, close us out. Yes. Hi, Kate. How are you? Uh, Brad, like WBB, WNBA, Swish. It's been a roller coaster of a year so far. Um, can you please speak to how you have grown as a person on and off the basketball court? Yeah, I mean, I think basketball teaches you a lot of life skills. You know, I haven't really had time for a job, I guess, in my six years of college, but uh, basketball teaches you a lot. It teaches you how to be a good teammate, how to be able to, you know, cooperate with other people, work as a team. And um, those are life skills that you can carry on forever. And uh, it's bigger than just myself. You know, I worry about my teammates and I'm worried about the person to my left and my right, not myself. And uh, that'll carry me on for the rest of my life. Right. And so uh, I just try to work really hard and, um, you know, just take those life lessons into my daily life, uh, who I am as a person. That's who I am to my core. And so um, while I'm not only just a basketball player, I can take all those lessons I've learned in my however many years of playing and uh, keep that in my core of who I am and my personality.